uh, maybe a couple of links that Carl highlighted um, that are pretty important. As, you know, we did talk about this in the presentation, but he talked about some of the exposure of hydrogen sulfide and how it's, uh, uh, you know, what Rob went through some of the rest. But yeah, it really, the stress is really, it's a very dangerous gas at low concentrations. And the links that Carl uh, introduced are pretty valuable. And so if you do start to just feel yourself being dizzy or overcome, um, you know, it's a good idea just to walk away and, let, as Rob said, get a breath of fresh air. The other thing Carl pointed out, and as Rob pointed out too, is, um, you know, if you do smell that rotten egg smell, it's a great indicator that you're in a dangerous environment. If that smell goes away, that doesn't necessarily me mean that you are out of that dangerous environment. Uh, it could be at a higher level where your nose just isn't detecting it, or as Carl pointed out, you can have uh, olfactometry, olf olfactometer, uh, fatigue, which your nose just gets tired and a little bit worn out, so you can still be in, in a dangerous situation. Um, another question that might be worth highlighting, I believe it was uh, somebody else commented on the effect of, of gypsum on methane, which was actually a great question, because really when you look at the deep manure storages, Bacteria, unlike people, we only have the ability to respire oxygen, but bacteria have the ability to respire more uh, constituents. So oxygen is their top choice. That's their first thing to go. After that, it kind of goes in a hierarchy of oxygen, nitrogen, um, manganese, iron, and then sulfate, which is the producer of that hydrogen sulfide. And below that is when methanogenesis begins to occur. And you know, somebody asked if we had an effect of gypsum on methane production. Um, we didn't because we saw even low methane production even in the non-gypsum farms. Um, but with, with gypsum present, with that sulfate present, that would have to be used up before, before meth methanogenesis, before methane would be created. So it's a great question. Um, a lot of insight there. 